Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? You already know it's your boy, Too Cool, a.k.a. Cool Money Ace, man. We right here on the 80 Degrees and Palm Trees podcast. I appreciate y'all for tapping in, showing love, and hitting that subscribe. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe. But anyway, man, it's been a, a, a lot of stuff going on in the news. But one particular story I like to touch up on is the uh, Marcellus Williams uh, story. That's going on. That's I'm sure you guys done seen it. It's all over the place right now with the uh, Missouri courts and everything that's going on, man. I just really want to say RIP to that brother, man, because if this isn't a wake up call for us, then we don't really know what is. We really have to, you know, as black and brown people, we really have to really understand what's going on. We really have to understand the aspects and what's going on in life when it comes to us, the right, the wrong. But even then, to not even go so deep, we just got to understand the right and wrong. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, man. And it's a lot of stuff in this situation that's wrong. It's a lot of stuff in this story that's wrong. I'm sure you guys know. Um, I'm sure you guys been reading and being on social media all day like me. Um, it's kind of messed up, you know. Um, hard to even talk about, you know, because of the situation. Um, so I guess he just, he was, you know, laid to rest. Um, they went through with the execution and, um, yeah, it's just a sad day. It's definitely a sad day, man. And with everything that's been going on with a lot of stuff that we face as people, uh, just a lot of, just a lot of grief man and it's just messed up you know to see somebody life get taken um like that for a crime that he didn't do you know that's kind of messed up and i hope that everybody involved um know that they was dead wrong for that and i hope he you know his family gets some type of it's not even about the compensation man because that don't matter you know you had somebody locked up who didn't do something you prove he doesn't do it, and then you still go through with the execution, man. You still go through the whole death road, all the crap they go through, man. That's just messed up. Um, like I said, it's hard to talk about just seeing all the posts and everything and seeing how many people reached out to that man, man. Reached out, try to reach out to the city council. Everything, the courts, writing letters, everything. So shout out to those people. But that's how you know our back is against the wall when it comes to stuff like this, man. Our back is against the wall, man. And we got, and you know, we hear all the time, keep fighting, keep fighting. And we'll be this one day. We'll, should it be good one day? But then when you keep, you live in a world where you keep seeing this type of stuff happen, it's just, it kind of messes with you, man. And it's just, it's just a sad thing to see, man. You know, that today they went through with it to basically murder him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but we know what it is, man. If he didn't do it, if he didn't do the crime, y'all got the proof he didn't do the crime, then we know what it is, man. So, I just wanted to get his time, you know, saying to him, to his family, give big ups and praises to anybody who going through this with him, with the family, you know, all the people who just got to sit around and think about this stuff. It's kind of sad, man. It's kind of unfortunate. Um, it's not a good feeling. Uh, all we can do is send prayers to the family, man, because after a situation like that, it's not right. And then for y'all to still constantly do stuff like this um, with people getting locked up who didn't have anything to do with the crimes, no charges. Y'all find the evidence of stuff of from other people. 
Um, it's crazy, man. So that's real messed up that that had to happen today. You know what I'm saying? I hope they get some type of, like I said, justice, compensation. None of that can bring a person back. We already know. So that's it's just crazy, man. That's sad to see. And like I said, sending love, prayers to all the family, all the friends, all the people he had, like who even knew he was going through that, man, who knew all those years he didn't do it. And then just to wake up today or wake up one day and see that they just don't care about you, man, as a human, don't care about you, don't care if you go to jail, don't care if you die, don't care if you did it or not. We just live in a messed up world, man. So R.I.P. Marcellus Williams, man. Everybody show love, man. Everybody stick together. Stuff like this, we have to stick together and really prove that we mean something. That we are human. People look at us like we're nothing because of this. Because of skin color, man. Skin color really have people showing their ass, man. And it's so messed up because this is how we was born, man. We was born. We didn't ask to be born with this skin color. And still to this day, when it comes to music and culture and hip hop and movies, and entertainment, everything we looked at is up here, but get treated like we down here. And that's so messed up, man. We human too, no matter what, we're human. So what they did to him, that's wrong. What they did, they know that's wrong. And RIP to that man, and can't nothing bring them back, but they know they wrong. And I hope the family get justice, get some type of something. It don't matter, compensation, something. But I hope they get justice, and I hope they feel something. Those people got to feel something, man, after that. You don't do that to a person, man, treating people like animals when you already got the proof that he didn't do it. You got everything you need to show he didn't do it, and still you lay him down. It's crazy, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Hit that like and that subscribe, and I appreciate y'all for following the podcast.